praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, double honest our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect out there, you know, here, uh, we in D.C., got a brother in town, you know, the brother Bukwasha, you know, uh, you know, basically we're going to break bread in the spirit, man, you know, we was just talking, you know, uh, for one, you know, we, uh, we in like mind, man, you know, we, we going in the spirit, you know, and that's what we're going to talk about, going in the spirit, because what, that that's what, that's what it all boils down to. That's why we're able to link up and uh, do the things and uh, bring forth the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Why? Because we're riding the wave, so to speak. We're, 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 we're uh, 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 setting sail, you know? Good. You know, and the scriptures uh, uh, basically tell you that, man. You know, that's what you're supposed to, that's what you ought to do. Just basically go with the spirit, man, because this is not our program. And that's the point that we want to uh, bring forth to any, any brother, young, new, old, whatever, you know? That what? You got to go with the spirit, man. And remember, this is not your program. The scripture says what? Uh, 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 man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man understand his own way? You know, how can a man even understand his own way? You can't understand your own way. Why? Because it's all in the spirit, man. That's right. You know, you got to flow with the spirit, you know? Con, con. I got this uh, real quick for you. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians <clears throat> chapter 5, verse 19. It says, quench not the spirit. That's right. When something is quenched, that means it's uh you you satisfied it. You man, you, mm -hmm. you 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 cut it off. You know when you're thirsty, you know you you got that parchedness in your throat. You know and it, it, you what you do? You get some water to what quench your thirst. You're no longer thirsty no more. Man. You know. Come so on. what? You ain't supposed to quench the spirit. The spirit is going to keep keep flowing. You know. Right. And it, and it's spiritual too because when you go which we'll get eventually John the third chapter. And the spirit was uh, likened unto water, man. You know, when you go into the ocean, all right, when you go into the ocean, if you don't ride the wave, you know, so to speak, or you don't uh, go with the current, you know, you're going to get taken. There's something called the undertow. You know, you can get washed up in the waves. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you went against the grain of the water, all right? Right. So that's what this that's what this truth is like, man. Hence, the scripture says what? You know, this, you know when the brothers, uh, uh, the kingdom of heaven... Is within us, you know, the, the, yep. the, the, the kingdom, you know, heaven is what? The word for heaven is what? Shemayim, right. which pertains to the waters, man. Right, kind. So the kingdom, we're supposed to go with the kingdom, uh, 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 go with the heavens, man. Go with the flow. Right. All right? Right. That's another. Um, I want to, the brother had touched on the word there, quench. I'm just going to bring it out here real quick. Con. Let's play here. OG 4570, Spain me. It says to extinguish, quench Damn. a fire or things on fire. So when you think about, you know, uh, likewise with water, yep. right? We talked about water having a certain power, a certain force in it in which cannot be quenched. Likewise with fire. You don't want to suppress the fire of the spirit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to you want to flame it. You want to enhance it. Yep. Right. Con. You know, and, and through the spirit, that's what happens when brothers link up and in, in staying in order. You yeah. know, when you stay in order, uh, what does the scripture say? Two is better than one. Yeah, yep, yep. Right. So, so what are you doing? You're combining the forces of that 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 water, okay, yeah. or, or that that spirit of the Lord, the the heavens, okay, and you're making it more powerful That's because right. you're going with it. Yeah. Versus going against. That's it. That's right. That's right, man. Because it, 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 that's the spirit, man. Because what? Let me read this. Uh, this is uh, John chapter three. Verse 5, it says, Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water mm -hmm. and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Right. So you got to, like the brother said, in order for those two to get together and make it more powerful, they have to be what? They have to be born of the Spirit. They have to be living in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right? If you if you living with, uh, against the Spirit, you living in the flesh, you know, you're not going to, the, the Spirit is going to find like a glitch. You want It's going to be like, a, you know, a a a a a a mishap, if you will, a quench, right? You know, like the, or like that that definition said, extinguish. Mm -hmm. You know, because what, when a fire is hot, what, what they got extinguishers. Go right. get the extinguisher, right. put the fire out. Right. A lot of guys is out here putting the fire out as opposed mm -hmm. to uh, helping enhance the fire. Right. And a key way to help enhance fire is to do what? To add uh, air, oxygen, which is breath. And that's the same word when you go into the Hebrew is what? Uh, rakha mm -hmm. or rakha. You know, the same word for breath is spirit. Right. You know, so you add more breath. You add more spirit. You add that breath of life, man, to enhance the fire, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And then, and not for nothing, hey, man, it is what it is. You know, water and oxygen, that can go hand in hand as well, man. Right. Likewise with fire because you need oxygen for fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah see? Yeah. See? Yeah, see? 
Right. Conquer right. because th those are some of the, the most powerful elements that Yahweh Shemiah Shah has created. You know, right. you, think, so. you think about what wind does, hurricanes. Yep. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm yeah, and yeah. The hurricanes are what? Moving waters. <laughs> You know, yeah, 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 yeah. That's you, right. You think about what a bushfire is, right? Right. You know, or or uh, essentially uh, this thermonuclear fire that Yahweh Shemiah Shah is bringing. There's no way that America or any other nation is going to be able to quench it. So that's likewise, right. you want to get in order with the program of these holy scriptures, the laws that's right. that were set up as a structure. Yeah, because if you don't think about it, if you, you gonna get quenched. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no. either you get quenched or you want to get drowned. Ooh. You know, you're going to get drowned or you're going to get burnt. That's right, brother. You know, the scripture says that the word of the Lord is a, a, a flame and fire, and these people are wood. You know, but then you also, when you got gold, you got silver, mm -hmm. which is going to get refined through that fire, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So a lot of times, we, another way you can say what is going with the spirit, look, man, like, especially, you know, we done, we talked about order and things of that nature. But also, too, you know, when, when something is being brought out in the book, you know, something being brought out in the scriptures, you're supposed to go with it. You know? You're supposed to go with it. And when we out in the streets, out teaching, sometimes you may have a scripture, you know, and, and brothers are speaking, brothers are speaking, you may fall back. Like, nah, you know, I ain't going to bring that scripture out. Why? Because it's not according to the spirit, man. Right. All right? If right. I, it, when, when mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost just like a rhythm. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh you yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. like when things are in rhythm, yeah, yep. of course, you know what I'm saying? This is a perfect time, but... Um, what does the scripture say uh, about things being fitly joined together? Right, right. You know, right. I mean that—that's order of the spirit. Yeah, you yeah, know that's that, right. that that sting that's uh, quenching not the spirit, but understanding your role in this body. So that's right. That's right. You know, I'm gonna get that that because uh, that goes fitly joined, right? Con, con. Yeah, yeah. Man, cause, cause, oh, that's the spirit. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Salak, your brother, because uh, I had one of these scriptures. I had this this chapter in mind. This is Ephesians four and sixteen, mm. right? It says, uh, "It says uh, for whom the whole body." All right, I'm gonna start at verse fifteen. But speaking the truth in love may grow up in him all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach, from whom the whole body fitly joined together. And compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual work, the measure of every part, make up the increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. And the word ed edify means what? To build up. So when it, the pieces are joined together, you, it's easier to build. Mm -hmm. As opposed to things that are not fitly joined, there's no way we can build. You know, there's going to be a, 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 a hump, if you will, man. Mm -hmm. You know, there's going to be lumps in the road, if you will. All right. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna jump down to verse 30 while I'm here. You know, the scripture says it says uh, it says, "And grieve not that the Holy Spirit of the Most High, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption." Right, and it, right. The scripture said, "What? Don't grieve the Holy Spirit, man. Mm -hmm. When something is coming out in the Spirit, you're supposed to go with it, man. You, if you grieve, the, just think about it, man. What is what the Holy Spirit actually is? It's at, it's the Comforter. It's actually a gift." From Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So if you happen to grieve that gift, you know, imagine somebody, you know, comes up to you and they got a gift for you. You know, they, they happy to see you, whatever the case is, and you say, oh, here, here you go. You know, and then the motherfucker, what the fuck is this, man? You know, you, you shun it away. Right. You're going to look at that person like, what the fuck? And, and, and you know how a lot, a lot of times people say, what? It's the thought that counts. Right. So that's what, that's what, ultimately what it is. You, you rocking the whole boat, man. Right. You know? Uh, there's an <clears throat> there's an expression in the world uh, about looking a, a gift horse in the mouth. Oh shit, con, con. <laughs> you I know, heard and, that. And, 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 and essentially that's what you're doing by thinking that your ways are better than Yahweh Shimei Shai ways or his order. You know, because that is essentially how the spirit is edified yeah, or yeah, built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You con, know, so con. so you can't be grievous about whatever role or allotment that you have, be thankful that you're in the body. That's right. That's right. I, that's right. That's a beautiful point, man. And that's going with the spirit, man. Right. Because you think you thinking yourself to be uh, more than what you are, mm -hmm. which at, at the end of the day deals with pride, man. Scriptures say only by pride cometh contention. So if there's a contention, if there's a, 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 a ruffle, if you will, you know, if there's a discrepancy, someone's being proud. They ain't going with the spirit. Right. All right. Uh, I'm going to just continue. This is John chapter 3. Uh, John chapter 3, verse 6. I'm going to read it 5 again. Yahweh shall answer, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Most High. And just like how that quote from Bruce Lee, be as water. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to know when to expand. You got to know when, when to extract. Paul said that himself. I know how to abase and I know how to abound. Why? Because he knew he was circumspect. 
Right. You know, he knew when to apply what he was taught and, and whatever aspect that he needed to. He was a well-rounded man. Right. You know, and also, too, when dealing with being circumspect, because a lot of times, you know, uh, you know, you pray for uh, to be circumspect, but then the Lord will give you that uh, 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 that that gift of to be circumspect. All right, but then you got to know how to when to apply it, man. Right. That's that's what shows if you're in the spirit or not, because someone could be observant, right? Someone could be uh, acknowledge and see and catch everything, mm -hmm. but then not know when to know when to apply themselves. That's when you're spiritual, you know. Yeah. Fitly joined together, like the brother quoted. All right, so you got to know how to fit, man. Right, and 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 that's wisdom. Yeah, you know, understanding. Oh yeah, understanding when to execute. That's right. You know when that's to right. execute the spirit, when to lay back in the spirit. All of these things are the experience. And Lord willing, man. Hey, I, I still got a, a lesson on deck, man. For you, I can you know, and Lord willing, you know, yeah, by Shemuel Shai, you know, will will uh, mature it and you know nurture it or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. that's the reason why we follow the example of Yahweh Shai because yeah. he is our experience. Of what following the spirit is. That's right. That's <laughs> or right. being in the spirit. That's or right. not quenching the spirit. That's right. Because he could have easily did it when he's on the cross. He, yep. I mean, there were, there were several circumstances all throughout the scripture. His walk. In which he could have just laid it down and be like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, this is my kingdom. My servants will fight. Yeah. He knew He knew this. Was, it wasn't his time to shine, so to speak. Mm. And I was uh, 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 listening on the way over in Luke, the fifth chapter. When he healed that man of, 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 of leprosy. Mm -hmm. He said, don't tell nobody, man. Right. And a, and a quick side note to all you Christians out there, you know, did, did the one whom you call Jesus Christ, did he keep the law? Because he told that same leprous man, he said, go, now go to the priest and do as what Moses said to do. Because right. he enforced the law at the same time. But he didn't look for any glory. The scripture says what? That he made himself of no reputation. Right. Why? Because he knew he was due to, there to do his bidding. And that's a great way of uh, understanding how not to quench the spirit by putting yourself and your emotions and your feelings to the side. When you when you know how to do that, then you know that you're serving. You you know fully that you know. Look, it wasn't of me. You know when I did whatever I did, it wasn't the, for the my own benefit. It was for the be benefit of the body. It was for the benefit of the brethren. You know, it was for the benefit of the acknowledgement of Yahweh Shai. Kind, kind, All right, I got you, brother. Yep, kind. This is uh, this is Philippians chapter two. Uh, Verse uh, verse three, it says, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. That that's a part of being in this truth, man. Yeah. You know, like there are there are brothers, there are men, there are elders. You know, there's an order uh, in which has already been established. One of the points in which the uh, brother Ariel had made in the sit down is. You coming into a program of your how about Shimei Abu Shai, man? You know you're not coming into your old program. You know you uh, can't you casting off that old way and you're you're embracing a new way, a way of speaking, a way of communicating, a way of living, a, a way of bonding with brothers. Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, this this is like the second time I met this brother in the flesh. Yeah, yeah. Con. But through but through the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Kind, kind. Right through the spirit, we've known each other for ages, yeah. centuries, decades. You know, so so the point in which I'm making here is. Just understanding how to esteem another brother better than yourself, higher than yourself, because that is the way in which this program of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai operates. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's beautiful points. Yup, and the key word that you said there, I, I that hit home is uh, embracing. Mm -hmm. You know, when you you're, when you're able to embrace something, you know, it's, you're not necessarily initiating the contact. You're, you're you're being more receptive as opposed to being a person that's in authority. Like, you know what? Let me fall back. Okay, that's cool. You just embrace whatever comes, you know, and you ride that shit. You know, you ride, you ride it. It's something in boxing. They say, you know, you roll with the punches. That's right. how you embrace it. You get you get hit, but you roll with it. Right. You know, you, right. you take it for what it is. Come. You know. I got I got one more. Yeah, too. yeah, brother. Yeah, come, come. This is uh this is Psalms chapter eighty four verse uh ten. It says, "For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my power, Yahweh than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. And this is talking about King David, man. Yeah. Talking about being a doorkeeper in the kingdom, man. How much more is he abasing himself? Right. You know, as a king. Right. Understanding his role, saying, hey, listen, just being in the body, being in a program, being in the kingdom of Yahweh is good enough. 
hey, I hold the door open for brothers. Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and essentially, through the Spirit, that's what we're doing. We're being watchmen. Yep. You know, m- making sure that, kind of stewards, m- making sure that those that do come in, you know, are actually worthy of receiving this Spirit, okay, and, and understanding how to execute it. That's right. To where you, you won't, uh, as Scripture says, you won't cast your pearls among swine. Yeah. Yeah, before before Yahweh Shai told them to go be fishers of men, he told them to drop their nets. But before they even dropped their nets, they had to clean their nets. Mm. You know? Dope. So you don't want all that filth. You don't want the filth. You got to have a clean net to cast. And, you know? Right. And likewise, we're being uh, cleansed right now oh, through, yeah. through this word, oh, this yeah. water, the uh, uh, being baptized. Yep. Right? Uh, by water and by fire. Yep. You know, persecution's yep. coming down the road. You know, actually, persecution is here as well. Yep. But but likewise, that water is also uh, 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 renewing us. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know? So, oh, yeah. so understanding the dynamics of what this word is doing, understanding your role and, and just being humble about it. Not coming in here, you know, like one of the brothers that said, man, you coming in here, you know, now you king dingling. Like, no, nah, man, it's not even about that. It's about uh, an army, okay, uh, or as the scripture talks about, Yahweh by Shimei Abishai being the Lord of hosts. Yeah. The order's already set up. You coming in as, I guess, what's the lowest rank, a, a cadet or some shit? Well, you had the cat, uh, officers of 50. Officers of 10, and uh, okay. uh, I think it's uh, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 18th chapter. Mm-hmm. You know, you're an officer of 10, and you had officers of 50, officer of 100. You know, and then you get you come up to a captain, you know, which a captain is a ruler, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's Deuteronomy 18. I don't, okay, it could be wrong. It's all good. Bring, yeah, yeah, bring come, come. Get, yep, yep. This is uh, uh, John chapter 3, verse uh, 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit, right? Man, being born means what? To to live in the spirit, you know. This is this is a way of life. This is a lifestyle, man. Okay. Marvel not that I said unto you, thee, unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, mm-hmm. and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canest not tell whence it cometh. Like that's right. I mean, basically, how shy is comparing the the, uh, the spirit like wind. You can hear wind. You can see the effects of the wind. But you can't control it. Right. You don't know where it's coming from neither. Okay. You know, like your brother mentioned, you mentioned hurricanes, man. It's best to just get out of there, man. Okay. You know, it's best to just, you know, survival, you know? Right. Uh, a little more. It says, and whither it goeth, so is everyone that is born of the spirit. Uh, Nicodemus answered and said unto him, how can these things be? Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know and testify that we have seen. And ye receive not our witness. I, if I have told you earthly things mm. and ye believe not, how shall ye re- believe if I tell you heavenly things? Right, and that's between uh, that man and Yahweh Bashim Shah because, you know, the inspiration of, of understanding in order for you to actually go with the Spirit, you have to acknowledge Yahweh Shah, man. You know, the scripture says that, man. If a man uh, think himself to be anything, let him acknowledge himself as a servant of the Lord, man. You know? So, at the end of the day, man, you know, you got to pray. You got to fast to because the, the spirit is going to do nothing but enhance. You know, the scripture says what? That knowledge shall increase. A part of, a part of the spirit is knowledge as well. Because mm-hmm. certain things that we said, certain things that we brought out, like, you know, going some years back, it was certain breakdowns of certain scriptures. That, you know, for instance, Isaiah 22 and 29, uh, pe- the, uh, pale face, Kinda. you know, like, it was like, you know, we brought that out, brought that out, but if you ain't going with the spirit, you're going to be bringing that out, and you're going to be breaking it down wrong. Incorrectly, kind of. Yeah, you know? So, a, a part of the a part of the spirit is the knowledge, what you've been taught. A lot of cat. well, I ain't going to say a lot, well, these guys out there, I'll just say that, they feel like they don't need to be fed anymore, man. Like, they could, they could, they could control the spirit. You know, and it don't work that way, man. That's why, again, going back to humility, man. All right, when you have that humble mindset, you you still uh, uh, you you've been brought up on a level to be apt to teach. Well, you need to be apt to learn still too. It's, it, it it goes hand in hand, man. Right, kind. Of, you know, that's that's a part of being a disciple or yeah. having discipline. Yeah. You know, discipline is a ongoing process. You know, uh, one of the brothers in the Dallas camp had talked about how. Uh, he, he had made a quote, uh, but essentially, uh, like, you never stop learning. Like, even yeah. in, in, you know, wicked-ass, you know, Esau's profession or whatever that I'm in, you know, they have something called uh, 
uh, continuing education courses mm. or, or professional development um, hours. So when you get to a point of where you believe that you are professional, right. you're still going to learn. Hell yeah. Be- because there's always more to learn. Hell yeah. You know, so so likewise, being in this body of Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, you can never get to a point to where you're not learning, but you also have to understand that once you teach something, the, the best way to learn it is to teach someone else. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very so, so, you're, so. so you're always going to be learning and yep. teaching. That is that is the uh, 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 the flow. The yin and the yang, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. That, that, that is the, the balance right, okay, right, of, right. of being a disciple. Right. Not right. being a, a temperate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I mentioned boxing. In boxing, you got to know how to exchange, man. Mm-hmm. You out there just throwing punches. That's how you get dropped, you know? And if like you play too much D, you ain't going to be able to score. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and, and that's why Muhammad Ali is already taught it. You know, just, just take your hits. Right. You know? Uh-huh. So, hey, man, it, it, like the brother says, it's a beautiful point. You, you have the uh, temperate in all things, man. Like Paul said. All right? Uh, I got something if you don't. No, Come on. Good, this is uh, uh, Sirach chapter 20, uh, verse uh, 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 18. I'm going to start. It says, to slip upon a pavement is better than to slip with the tongue, so the form of the wicked shall come speedily. The unseasonable tale will always be in the mouth of the unwise. And that's why you mentioned earlier, you said about wisdom, mm-hmm. because wisdom tells you when to speak and when not to speak. That's why I said the unseasonable tale will be always be in the mouth of the unwise. He doesn't have the wisdom or the discernment to know when to speak and when not to speak. All right, uh, a little more. It says, a wise sentence shall be rejected when it come out of a fool's mouth, for he will not speak it in due season. And that's the point right there. You got to know the seasons, man. Sirach 3, thir- thir- oh, not Sirach, Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. There's right. a time and a uh, place uh, 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 for everything under the heavens. There's a season for everything, man. And you got to know the season, man. You got to know what season we in. Right now, it's getting cold. You know, we in the D.C. area. Guess what? I ain't coming out in shorts this week, man. Right. You know? Right. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to have a, a bigger coat, hoodie, and bundle up, man. Mm-hmm. You got to know the season. You got you to gotta go with the spirit, man. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah, Play it yeah. simple. The spirit <laughs> said, hold up. We ain't, we ain't wearing no light coat today. It's right. about to be 32 degrees. Right. You know? And, hey, man, I got to switch up today, man. Same thing. In, yo, man. Things happen. Things happen in the camp. Things happen in the spirit. The apostles start giving different decrees. Oh, you mm-hmm. gotta make three videos. Up, huh? you right. gotta up to any. Who am I to be like? What the fuck's this guy talking about? Man? Right. You know. Right. If God. you believe that these men are the men of the Lord, right? That the spirit is working with them, and, and, and is the the, the top the, the top in Israel, then you won't go with the spirit. You know, and that's a lot. That's a motherfucking problem, man. That's a nigga's problem, man. You know, they got too many goddamn opinions, man. What well, think? What well, feels though? You know, just shut up and just go with the spirit, man. That's just what it is, man. You know, sometimes, okay, you know, and there's a certain time and place even for that to ask right. questions, man. Right, right. Kinda. Sometimes it ain't sometimes it ain't appropriate for you to ask questions. Sometimes you just gotta be quiet and humble up. Right. You know? Yeah. Even yeah. though you don't agree. So lock you. You got it out. No, no, come, come, brother. I know you got some. I know you got some heat <laughs> right there. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 13. It says uh verse 3. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. See, and have seen nothing, man. They don't have the eyes to see or the ears to hear. They don't, uh, or the scripture says what? Uh, 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 a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide, hide it from himself. Mm-hmm. Why does he foresee the evil? Why? Because he could, He has the proper discernment. You know, he has the, he's, he's been circumspect and he analyzed the scenario and he says, look, okay, this is the time. When I need to do this. Like a good idea for brothers to do. When you see the seasons changing, like we going in from, uh, uh, and you know, the East Coast is different, of course. You got all four seasons. But it, towards the end of the summer, that's when you're supposed to start, really start to eat, eat more healthy. Why? Because when that when that fall come in and the, and the seasons change, that's when people start to get, oh, it's flu season. It's right. flu. No, motherfucker. You just got to change up. <laughs> right. You got to go with the seasons, man. It's flu season. It's the only reason it's flu season because everybody's still doing, they eating the same you know, they uh, 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 they dressing pretty much the same day, looking at the temperature, you come outside and shit, you know? And it's, there's foods for different seasons, man. Kind. You know? you all, Like, you got certain fruits and vegetables that grow for different te- seasons, man. Like, I, really, for the most part, I don't, I don't eat whole garlic 
during the summertime or in the springtime. Mm -hmm. That's like a wintertime thing. Right, right, right. You know? Right. But then as you coming into it, you know, oh, I got to get my garlic. That's when you start making your tinctures. Mm -hmm. You know why? For later on, you may start making your tinctures in the summertime. Why? Because the season is changing, man. Right. And you know by the time it's fall, I got my tincture ready. Right. You know? Kind. You, kind. Did, you did the right thing. Kind. You know? Yeah. And all, all these things are set up by your how about Shimei Awashai to give us order. Yeah, you know? that's he, right. He, he set up days by order. He set up seasons by order. And like the brother was saying, all of these times are in order. So likewise, we should also stay in order. You yeah. know, that's staying within the spirit. You know, that's not seeking out your own ways. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's not that's not trying to uh, do something out of your own might or, or out of your own strength. Yeah, brother. You know, because really, as Scripture says, man, our strength is of the Lord anyway. Brother. Yeah, yeah. He said, "When I am weak, therefore I am strong." Gun. And Paul said that on numerous occasions. He said that. Gun. You know. Uh, 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 what did he say? It's something else that's on the tail end of that scripture. But but essentially, uh, I want to say he said something along the lines of how he took uh, he took uh, pride or yeah yeah I got in, you in in being weak. Yep yep I got you. I know what you're talking about. You know because one of the things of this world is to teach you or to make you believe to lie to you that your power is pride when really our power is being humble. You know so just just another quick point you know a lesson. Um, you know, based upon what the spirit of the Lord oh. is and not being able to quench it. Got right, it. Brother. This is uh, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 12, and I'm going to start at 9. It mm -hmm. says, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, mm -hmm. for my strength is made perfect in weakness. My strength is made perfect in weakness, right? Because in this world, man of the flesh, you know, you think you need a gun, you need an arrow, you need these weapons that Esau, you know, totes around or whatever, man. But we have, we have the greatest weapon right here, man. You know, these holy scriptures and being in this body, the protection. You know what I think of, too? Uh, I ain't never been a weak Jew. Oh. You know, a cat talking about I ain't never been a weak Jew, but you ain't never been a strong Jew. Mm. All right? It says, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Amashiach may rest upon me. And Paul knew through the spirit, he knew he had to take on his burden to glorify Yahweh Bashim mm Yahweh -hmm. And that's what the, when you have that uh, uh, set at your main goal, your main endeavor is to please your how about Shimi Shai, then you're gonna put yourself away and you're gonna and the sp the spirit is gonna work with you so you able to you know identify you know the 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 the, the evidence thereof, which is the faith. Kind. You know? You're gonna cause scripture cause, cause there is evidence in faith. Because people say, well, faith comes without seeing. No, we see it. Right. Why? Because we live in the spirit. Right. So we can see the spiritual things happening and it, and it boosts our faith. Kind. All right? Continuing on, it says, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and in reproaches and necessities and persecutions and distresses for Yahweh Shai's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. See? And that's the point, man. Well, that's another thing. Well, the scripture says, what? If thou faint in the day of adversity, then thy strength is weak. Mm -hmm. When that adversity comes, you got to understand that Yahweh Shai is putting you through that in adversity. Right. And then the scripture says, what? Second, I think it's second, uh, First Corinthians, the 10th chapter. He said uh, that he would never put you through temptation, mm -hmm. which kind. is uh, uncommon unto men. Right, kind. So you going with the spirit because, you know, oh, look, the Lord put me through this and I got to deal with it, man. Right. Suck it up, man. Tuck right. your nuts, so to speak, you know. Right, kind, brother. You know. Kind, yeah, because you fainting doesn't have anything to do with your strength in the physical sense. Right, exactly. Okay? Exactly. You fainting is talking about spiritually not That's staying right. in order That's right. with the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh going off the what they call the, the beaten path. Mm. You know? Yeah. Because God, the, God. The, the brother the, got them some quotes. <laughs> I thought be, I had them. <laughs> be, be, because the, the the way of the Lord has already been set up. Yeah. You know? That's that's trying to come in uh what does the scripture say? Trying to come up an, another, another way. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, essentially, that's that's what it is. The program of the Lord has already been laid, man. Yeah. This is the way to the kingdom, man. These are the instructions of life, uh, in, of salvation, yeah. right? Now, either you abide by him, okay, and you're ruled by him. Your life now becomes a, a part of it. It's now amalgamated, right? Or you're going to go off on your own path, and, and that's where destruction comes. Yep. You know, that that's why Yahweh Shah is known as the shepherd, man. Yep. You know, the, the shepherd is leading us to the kingdom. Why wouldn't you want to take heed of the shepherd that knows the way, has walked it, okay, trying to help you to uh, avoid any pitfalls or stumblings through the spirit? Kind, kind. 
All right, brother, we're we going to close on this. You got it, bro. Cut, cut. It's, uh, uh, feel free to jump in, too. It says, uh, Galatians 6 and 7, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh mm -hmm. shall of the flesh reap corruption. Mm -hmm. For he that soweth to the Spirit shall reap spirit, the, shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Right. So, so the way in which we're reaping life everlasting is by staying in the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Okay. That's right. Understanding what the order is, as the brother was talking about. Understanding what the seasons are. Yeah. Okay. Understanding what what's what's the uh, quote unquote theme in Israel right now. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I mean, it's been these whole Christians and you know all the rest of these other you know uprisings of uh, philosophies and doctrines in which we need to defend the yeah. gospel. That's right. You That's know right. that that is reaping of the spirit. Because you now are understanding the landscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah, understanding yeah. the landscape of the battle in which we're in. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, just yeah, like somebody up. walking out straight to up. a battle, being unarmed, or you know, thinking everything's cool when your enemies out here everywhere. Man. Yeah, because you get instruction to a battle, man. You know, brothers play football. You know, you you, you pregame. You 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 uh, uh right. you have a preparation. Look, we're gonna run right. You know, they, they weak on the right side. We're going to run right. Or they corner's garbage. We got to, we're going to throw fades or whatever the case is. You, mm -hmm. you, and then you come out in the game like, nah, man, we running left. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> we running left. You know, the quarterback just switch up everything. Right. Or you get the ball and you, nah, fuck that, I'm running left. Right. You know, no, man, go with the game plan, right. man. Damn, man. Everybody want to be superstars, man. And, and real quick, that's not working to your strength. Exactly. exactly. Us, yeah. us, yeah, working, yeah. us working to our strength. Is using these words, man. That's right. That's you know, right. As a defense. That's why the scripture says this. And let us not be weary in well doing, mm. right? For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And that's the point right there, man. You know, we're talking about what? Uh, uh, if you don't sow into the spirit, you're going to faint. You know, the spirit, like you said, you're going into uh, Christian doctrine, different doctrines, different uh, uh, philosophies that we got to defend. And another come on, come on, that's boring, man. I don't want to get into that. You know, sit and tell you that right, too. Right, you know, right. oh, man, we all, you already beat. Man, we yeah. already did that already. Right, man. What right. the hell's the point? Right. You know, but then you got like, fuck that, man. Got go with the spirit. So you sow into the spirit, and it, and it's and it, I'm gonna be real, man. For the things that's going on right now, you know, and Apostle Tahar said, what you gotta make your three videos. Mm -hmm. It should be easy for brothers to make three videos, especially with this whole Christian doctrine being the thing. We cut it all the time. Right. It's so it. easy to cut the Christian doctrine. Right. Good. You sit there and think of 20, 30 things that they go off on and bring it out in the scriptures. Right. So it's 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 fitting for Apostle Tahar to say three videos. Right. So it's it's it's, it's easier now. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it it actually is easier. Why? Because you know you're going with the spirit, man. The, the spirit is not set up for to make things harder. The spirit is set up to make things easier. Right. You know, if you once you go against the spirit, that's when things become harder. Right, kind, you know, kind, kind. hey, but with that, all praises to Yahweh, Barashim, Yahushai, you know, double on saw apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and a shalom to the elect, man. Shalom. You know, go with the spirit, shalom, ride That's the right. wave. That's man. right. That's right.